I knew I had to show up with my cat. Oh, where are you there? Yeah, that's me in the new Netflix Kanye documentary, Genius. Some of you may not know this, but before I was a full-time music producer, I was one of the crew members filming Kanye's life. After watching the trilogy, I wanted to take a moment and break down the five things I think every music producer can learn from this documentary, including myself. Number one, know your work. I to see if it's possible to get these tracks, I guess without putting any money down. That's impossible. It's impossible. <laughs> This one is a double-edged sword. At the time Kanye made this statement, giving away free beats online wasn't an option to get you ahead in your career. But in 2022 it is. We've seen countless number one hits come from producers who uploaded their beats on YouTube and I think this is one of the best opportunities for new producers. I had like a beat store that was my way of making money and that's how Lil Nas found it. He was just searching for beats online. But what I personally take away from this moment is know your worth. As you move up in your production career, you need to start putting a price tag on your work because this is the music business and without the business part, you're not gonna make it far. If these conversations are uncomfortable, then start building a team around you that can handle those conversations. That's why having a manager is good. So you can stay focused on the art while still getting what you deserve. Also, don't shoot yourself in the foot. Be realistic with your value. Even Kanye knew where he was in his career at this moment. Oh, DMX? Yeah. He knew that giving a beat to DMX would do a lot for his career, and I'm sure if it came down to it, a free beat for DMX would have likely happened. Number two, it's okay to be persistent. The amount of persistence you can see in this one clip alone is a lot more than I've seen from a lot of producers who say they want this more than anything. Ambition is the path to success and persistence is the vehicle that helps you get there. If you're a producer, send those emails, hit those DMs, do whatever you need to get into those sessions. Now the only caveat here is knowing how to be persistent without being annoying. Which seems, I guess, to have worked for Kanye West, so who knows. And with no ID, thought I was too much of a pest. I end up going over Doug Infinite crib and um... Number three. See the positive in the negative. One of the moments you think Kanye is going to be upset is when Scarface doesn't want to rap on Jesus Walks. That's a hard one for me. I'm trying to get it. But when he walks out of the studio session, you see this. Family business for face. That nigga say incredible. Music can be a roller coaster ride, and as producers, we need to celebrate the wins, even if they're small. If you've been sending loops to your favorite producer but haven't got a placement yet, don't get discouraged. Focus on the fact that you're sending loops to someone you've always wanted to work with and respect. Keep focusing on growing that relationship. And that brings us to the next part. Number four, learning from others. From an early age, Donda put Kanye in situations where he could improve his skills by learning from people two steps ahead of him. That's why you always see him around the best designers, the best producers, the best artists. It's like Professor X and Magneto, the one for being in this environment with motherfucking Just Blaze in the studio, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to have my beats as good as they are. Because... He continues to educate himself from the best. If you're not seeing the change in your production career that you want, you need to look around. If what Kanye just said is the case, then put yourself in situations where you can grow. It might be uncomfortable at times, but that's what you need to do to get better. Surround yourself with people who will inspire you to push yourself and do more. Number five, it's okay to be confident. I always felt like I could do anything. After watching the Kanye doc, I went to bed wishing I had that Kanye confidence. At every stage of his career, you can see how this is used as a superpower. Everything else I mentioned today doesn't really work without at least a little bit of confidence. I don't know what that is for you, but for myself, I've gained confidence by putting myself in situations that felt uncomfortable, but recognizing those weaknesses and making sure I improved upon them over the following months. I'd go into sessions and realize that I didn't know a lot about music theory and it was stopping me from being able to work with other musicians in the room. Or if an engineer didn't show up and we'd lose a session with an artist, I'd recognize that that was because nobody knew how to record. I'd take notes of these moments and try to make sure that I could do these things in the future. And as I gained these new skills, my confidence skyrocketed because I knew I could handle whatever was thrown at me in the studio. Like I said, I don't know what that is for you, but whatever it is, go for it. And I definitely know that Kanye has at least an idea of how to get your confidence up. Go listen to all my music. It's the codes of self-esteem. It's the codes of who you are. If you're a Kanye West fan, you're not a fan of me, you're a fan of yourself. If you're like me, then watching this doc made me want to cook up. And if you're looking for something new to use in your production, you should definitely go check out our new plugin, Scorch. Scorch is the new sample-based instrument built for rap producers. We took what we were hearing in rap production and put it into a beautifully designed plugin built for rap producers. 
We wanted to stay true to the genre, so we worked with sample makers, sound designers just like Aaron Paris to bring unique and modern sounds to Scorch. Plus, Scorch comes with a built-in chord generator and effects to help you push the limits of what's next. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to get all the updates, and we'll see you again soon.